through here. I'm Jerry. So today I am actually filming in little spots that I have across the yard that I uh, just need a little something in them. And then I have a lot of flowers to put in as well. We got most of the vegetables in. I think all we lack right now is the carrots. And so for the majority of our season, everything is planted except for our succession planting, which we'll always be bringing in um, quite a bit of stuff up until probably August. And then, you know, you'll do your winter vegetables and as well. So it's always busy. But so today I'm putting in the lettuce that the chickens got a hold of up here in this area by the house where it's shaded we put the lettuce in here um and the chickens got to it so we don't have any electric fence to go around it they didn't eat the lettuce that i believe but they were nesting on it they have all kinds of homes to lay in that's got hay and areas for them to roost and stuff but they choose to roost all over the yard instead so um since we didn't have the electric fence we are utilizing this fence just to lay on top of it so that they will stay out of it but as you can see they tore up that area so I will be replanting it today and then I also have more lettuce come in that we've got to put somewhere so we'll have to figure that out For cut flowers so I am actually planting them pretty close together and I just cut the hoe and then dig it with my fingers then I water it and then I'm gonna stick them in and we will see how this goes you ready to work on the farm I, I am on the farm <laughs> ready to work we got these put in well, I'm getting them. I'm almost there. I got all those in. These are Snapdragons. Looks good. Rocket series. Should be pretty good. Alrighty, y'all. Look, we're doing our drip lines. We got our main lines in. Elbow. Our T's are all in. Our main lines are all in over here. Stuff like this. This year, we're going to just do our tubes. You can see here, comes all these tomato plants. So, let the games begin. Pretend the camera isn't here. It's the best way to do it. Pretend it's not there. Well, where's Pretend the camera? The Am I on camera? You guys need to hold your hands some more? On the farm. On the farm. Hey, look at this rose. It's a 950-year-old rose. The oldest rose in history. I dug this in Egypt when we went, what? In the pyramids? Giza. Giza. Thank you, Jerry. We were in Giza digging up, of course, a pyramid, and what popped out of the ground? This rose. So I brought it home, and it has a golden blooms. Golden. Most unbelievable blooms you've ever seen. Like I was telling them, out of nowhere, popped that rose. It's about a 2,000-year-old. 
road. Hey, I need somebody to come over here and stand on this. Yes. It's a paradactyl uh, jawbone yep. from the early uh, 16 BC. Wait, wait. Great seat. Jerry, give us give us a piece of uh, We get these. Give us a piece of uh, Aren't we nice? Not a piece of your mind. Give us a on the farm. Tell us something uh that you wouldn't hear every day. Go. So this group this came from Giza when we were in the pyramids of Giza. If you can see it's um, iron ore from the sixth uh, century BC. Uh you can see teeth marks on it and stuff too. I'll put it right over there. Well really. It came from the idea of Giza because we learned that even back then they used screws to move water. You may not know that, but that's a tr it is a true fact. Giant screws piled up the water, and if you did a screw like this and kept turning it, the water will go uphill, and it would used to fill, and they'd screw it back up. And Thanks for joining us today here on the farm. Hope you enjoyed the film. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the farm.